Hello ladies and gentlemen, this video is the introduction to a new series I'm starting in which we're going to create a React Native app from start to finish. So that means we'll be creating an API, using libraries, creating screens, and doing everything. Nothing will be cut out of this video series, so you'll see the entire process of creating an app. Now the app that we're going to create is not an original app, it's going to be a partial copy of one of my favorite apps, which is on the screen here, the MLB At Bat app which is the official app for Major League Baseball. And even if you don't like baseball, it's a really cool app. I'm going to give you a quick introduction of some of its features. Uh, I could pull it up here and I can see all of the games that are currently going on for whatever day I want to look at. I can click on them to expand and collapse and get more information, such as the current score. If I click the box link down here for the first game, I can get a box score for the game, which is basically how each player has been doing in the game. And I can even click on an individual player and drill down even more and get the entire stats for their, for their career. Another feature that I really like about this app is I can click on the summary and I can get videos about every time a score was made in that game. And it looks like it just crashed, but let me pull it up again. All right, if I click summary, I get videos every time there was a score. And I really like to watch the videos, but one of my least favorite things about this app is that it's covered in advertisements. So you can see I get a banner ad at the bottom of almost every page. And every time I click a video, I have to watch a 15 second ad before I'm allowed to watch the video, even though the videos are only a minute long. And that really annoys me. So I'm going to recreate some of my favorite features of this app because I discovered where the data is located. And I'm going to show you that right now. If you just do a Google search for MLB Game Day API, you'll figure out, you'll be able to see where the data is stored. It's at this website here, gd2.mlb.com. And there's really no documentation for this API, so we'll have to basically figure out everything for ourselves. But it does seem to be semi-structured, so it looks like down here we can find the current year and the month. Today is the 24th, so I'll go into that day. And I noticed a weird thing where sometimes if the URL ends in a slash, then you get an error. So I'm up here in the URL address bar, deleting the slash and pressing enter, and then we get all of the data. And I did look through this a little bit before making this video, but while we're making this series of videos, we'll have to examine a lot of these files and figure out what data we need and where it's located. Now, one thing that's important to notice is a lot of the data files here are in XML format. There are a few that are in JSON format, which is great because JSON is natively supported by JavaScript. But for the XML files, we're going to need to have a XML parsing library because I don't believe that's available natively in React Native. The other thing we're going to do is use a UI library. And I normally don't use UI libraries, but I don't want to spend a lot of time in this in the videos making basic UI components, so we're just going to install a UI library for convenience. And the one I'm going to use is called React Native Elements. So I'll search for that. And you can look at their GitHub page here, or they have their own website. So in this video, all I'm going to do is set up the project. And in subsequent videos, I'm going to implement something. And my goal is to have every individual video teach you some sort of concept so you don't need to watch the videos in order you can skip around or you can skip entire videos altogether. and my goal is to have every individual video teach you something so even if like i said if you don't like baseball or you don't want to watch the full series you can just watch a couple of videos and hopefully it will teach you something so to get started i'm going to use expo to create the app the reason i use expo is because it's very convenient and a lot faster for development in my opinion so I'll pull this up and we're going to create a new project and this will be a tab based project and we'll just call it MLB app and create that. And while that's loading, I'm going to search for an XML parser for React Native. So I'm searching React Native XML parser and let's just go with this first one right here. Let's pull up the GitHub make sure we can install it. Looks like, yep, 
the in installation instructions are right there. And we'll wait just a minute for the project to get created. Okay, the project has finished loading. So the first thing I'm going to do is click this project button and open a terminal so that we can install the UI library and the XML library that we decided to use. There may be additional libraries that we need to use in the future, but we'll start off with these two. So I'm coming to the docs page and finding the installation instructions. I like to use NPM, so I'm going to copy that and paste that into my terminal. And that should take a couple of seconds to install. So I'm going to scroll back over here to the XML parser, and I'm going to copy the installation instructions for this as well to get it ready. Okay, the UI library has loaded, so now I'm going to lo install the XML parsing library. We'll do npm install react XML parser, and I'm going to put a dash s for save so that it saves to my config file. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to launch my application in the simulator just to make sure that everything's running. I haven't edited any code yet, but I always like to make sure that the default project works. Okay, so the default application has finally launched, and it looks like everything's working properly. So in the following videos, we'll start implementing the application. Thanks for watching.